Hello everyone. How is everyone today? This is Sister Teresa coming to you today with another word of encouragement, another motivational video for the body of Christ and for believers. Hallelujah. To be encouraged and blessed in these last and evil days and times and seasons that we are currently living through. Brothers and sisters, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice, hallelujah, and be glad in it. Praise God for one more day. One more day that masses of people all over the world did not live to see. And we are truly blessed that the Lord showed up again one more day to wake us up to see this day. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, I want to come and talk about this eclipse that is supposed to occur, if the Lord says so, on April 8th, 2024, which is on a Monday, April 8th, 2024, that a lot of people are talking about the eclipse that is supposed to occur on this day. And there's a lot of speculation about what will happen and what could happen and that things will change and that it could be a sign and all these things that are pe people are talking about and discussing all over YouTube, all over social media and places and platforms. But brothers and sisters, we need to know what does the Bible say? What does the Lord say? about this eclipse and about all these things that are occurring on the earth at this time, because there are many things that are happening all at once, brothers and sisters. And we must know what does God say about it? What does our Lord and Savior say about the things that are going to happen that will occur? Make no mistake about it, that we are living in the last days and Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. It must be fulfilled, brothers and sisters. It has to come to fruition, and it must be done in the name of Jesus. So what does the Bible say, brothers and sisters, about these things that are happening? Brothers and sisters, I would like to take you to the Bible and the Word of God, which is in Luke chapter 21 and verse 25. Luke 21 and 25, brothers and sisters, and the word of the Lord reads, brothers and sisters, I have my Bible here. Luke chapter 21, verse 25 reads, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I read verse 26 also. So that was Luke 21. Verses 25 and 26. Praise God for his word. Brothers and sisters. You see, all these things must happen as the word of the Lord states. And that is just the beginning. And this eclipse that is going to happen is nothing to be afraid of. We know these things must happen. We, the church, the body of Christ, followers of Jesus Christ, we are not afraid because we know these things must happen and we are covered. We are protected. We are shielded by the precious blood of Jesus, which covers us and protects us. So we have nothing to fear. We have nothing at all to fear. So do not live in fear. Do not even think too much on it. Just count it all joy at that these things must come and they must happen. It just brings us one day, one step closer to our Lord and Savior returning for his church and the rapture of the church will happen. Make no mistake about it. It can be found in 1 Thessalonians 
chapter 4, verses 13 to 18, how the Lord, the word of God talks about being caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Hallelujah. Praise God. But this eclipse, brothers and sisters, is something that must happen and we must not fear what is going to happen. And could it be a sign of the end? I do believe so. That judgment is coming. And only God knows, only the Lord knows what's going to happen on that day. But it is nothing for us to be afraid of at all. We are not afraid. We are not afraid at all. Those of us who follow the Lord Jesus Christ, who love the Lord, we have nothing to fear at all. Because the word of God states, as I said in Luke chapter 21, verse 25 to 26, that all these things must happen, that there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, distress of nations, and that is happening now. Praise God, that is happening now. Men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Hallelujah, glory to God. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Something will happen. It will happen. But we are not afraid. We are not like the world who are looking after these things that are coming upon the earth and their hearts failing them. Hallelujah for fear. We don't have fear. We are strong in the Lord. We have on our full armor. We have on our armor, as the word of God states in Ephesians chapter 6, at verse 12, I believe it is, that we put on the full armor of God. We have on our armor, our word, our sword, our helmet, our faith, our salvation. We have it all on, and we are not afraid. So let these things come, whatever may come, the Lord is in control and we are not afraid of any of it, brothers and sisters. I want to take you also, brothers and sisters, to Ezekiel chapter 32, verses 7 and 8, brothers and sisters, what the word of the Lord is saying about these things that are coming upon the earth, brothers and sisters, including this eclipse. And the word of the Lord states at Ezekiel chapter 32, starting at verse 7. And the word of the Lord reads, And when I shall put thee out, I will cover the heaven and make the stars thereof dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light. Verse 8. All the bright lights of heaven will I make dark over thee and set darkness upon thy land, saith the Lord. Praise God for his word. Hallelujah. Praise God for his word. Another verse of scripture, brothers and sisters. And I will put all these verses of scripture, brothers and sisters, in the description of this video so that you can go back, read it and study it for yourself brothers and sisters. And I will also like to take you to Amos chapter 8 at verse 9. And the word of the Lord reads, And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. Praise God. Hallelujah. So you see these things must happen. They must happen and they will happen. Okay? And I've heard people talk about three days of darkness. Could that possibly be going to occur on that day of the eclipse? We don't know. We don't know, but we know that there shall be, as the word of God st states in Luke chapter 21 and 25, distress of nations. Hallelujah. Signs. These are signs in the sun, in the moon, in the stars. And all these things must come. It will happen because we are at the end. The Lord is wrapping things up on this earth. And if you cannot see that, it's because you do not want to see it. You cannot continue to duck your head in the sand and act like these things will not happen. We have to see it and we must see it and know the truth. And do not fear, because the Lord said he would always be with us. He will never leave us, neither will he forsake us in this evil, cold world. 
and we are not appointed unto wrath. As the word of God states, we are not appointed to wrath, brothers and sisters. And just as the Lord, hallelujah, glory to God, saved Noah, eight people entered into the ark. Only eight people entered into the ark to be saved from total destruction of the world. And the word of God states that as in the days of Noah, so shall it be at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, at the coming of the Son of Man. It shall be as in the days of Noah. So we must be ready. We must be pre prepared and do not have fear. Brothers and sisters, there's so many verses of Scripture. Read the book of Joel. Joel is a very good book to read regarding things that are coming upon the earth and at the end times and things that are happening now. Okay, brothers and sisters, Joel chapter 2 and verse 10, the earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Read Joel chapter 2 and verse 31 also. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's just so many scriptures that tells us of the things that will come upon this earth people of God, that we must know, we must study these words of God and know for ourselves the truth. And that, that we shall not be afraid. Do not ever fear. Do not fear because fear is not of the Lord. The enemy sends fear. So we are not afraid. We have our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on our side. And whatever will happen, know that we are covered. We are protected by his shed blood. Hallelujah, because we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And we love the Lord. We follow the Lord Jesus Christ, and we are trusting in the Lord. We're not trusting in any politician, any man. We are trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ, and we put all our faith, hope, and trust in Jesus and in him alone. Because at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, God is in control. He is in control. None of this is a surprise to the Lord. He told us these things would happen. So this eclipse of, of April 8th, 2024, whatever shall happen will happen. It will happen and we will not be afraid. Hallelujah. Because we have the word of God. We have the word of God. We have our, our shield, our sword. We have all of this as our garment to protect us. Hallelujah. As Ephesians 6 says, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 12, I believe it is, that we've put on the full armor of God, brothers and sisters, and we are covered and we are protected. We have our armor. We will not fear. We will not fear the enemy at all. He is afraid of us. We don't fear him. He's afraid of us. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we will not fear. We have on our armor and be encouraged today, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay. Go about your day on April 8th. Whatever you must do, continue to do. Do not live in fear and trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Because God is in control. Okay, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. I love you all. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hallelujah to this channel, brothers and sisters. And I thank you all so very much, brothers and sisters, for all the new subscribers and the people who have commented and come on my channel and supported me. I praise God for you. I thank God for you. Hallelujah. That you are blessed. And I pray for each and every one of you in Jesus name. I truly do. And I thank you. Hallelujah. So you all have a blessed day and look up. For our redemption draweth nigh. Hallelujah. Praise God and be happy. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Praise God and praise God, brothers and sisters. I love you. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. Have a blessed day. God bless. Love you. Bye-bye.